Trust Vital for your family's health. About one in every 75 westernized South Africans has high cholesterol, an important risk factor for heart disease. Leanne Laughs recently discovered her cholesterol was shockingly high. Leanne, I know you have a history of cholesterol in your family. Tell me more about it. Yes, my father's got high cholesterol, which he inherited from his parents and so did his brothers. And they've all passed on since then from heart attacks, which is caused a lot by high cholesterol. So I was a bit concerned about my cholesterol and I did have a test and then I was told it was 15, which is way over the chart of what it should be. And uh, luckily I've managed to get it down to 8. 15 is very high and congratulations with getting it down to 8. That is a drastic reduction. Thank you. I've tried very hard um, to get it down and I've tried by using the natural way, diet and exercise. So. I go to gym and I try and follow a healthy eating plan so that um, I can be around for my little one. Both hereditary and environmental factors affect the cholesterol level. Lifestyle changes can help manage cholesterol as well as use of medication. With your cholesterol being hereditary, it's wonderful that you've been able to get it down with diet and exercise below 8. But the actual safe level is below 5 and I don't think it's realistic for you to get it down any further with diet and exercise. So in addition to what you're doing already, my recommendation to you would actually be to consult your doctor and get a prescription for medication to lower your cholesterol. I've been thinking about it, but I'm really worried about the side effects of taking medication. You're right, there are side effects with taking cholesterol lowering medication, one of them being that it depletes a very valuable heart nutrient called coenzyme Q10. So it's something that you have to be mindful of. But in addition to taking medication to lower your cholesterol, you can definitely up your dietary intake of coenzyme Q10. And I've got a wonderful display here of the food sources. So it's broccoli, cauliflower, olive oil, peanuts, fish, avo, parsley, and these chicken livers. But to get to a high enough level of coenzyme Q10 to combat the medication, you've got to eat about a kilogram of these chicken livers a day. And I can see that's not something that you'll enjoy. So that's why they make supplements. And for convenience, you only take one of these capsules a day to get your 100 milligrams of coenzyme Q10 that you need in conjunction with your medication. Research indicates that coenzyme Q10 may also have benefits for individuals with hypertension, angina, and could help protect the heart during surgery. Cholesterol is called a silent killer because we don't have any symptoms if it's high. And there are so many South Africans with hereditary high cholesterol that don't even know about it. So it's great that you had some clues to have yours also tested. And from now on, it's important to have it tested at least every three months because there are lots of factors like stress and hormones that can increase it in the meantime. Hence the recommendation to take medication to get it down to below five. And I think what you're doing now already is changing your eating habits and exercise habits, which is laying a foundation for good health for your whole family and for your son that may also have inherited this condition. Thank you very much for all that information. I think my next step would probably be to go to my doctor to discuss whether I need medication or not because I really think that it's important that I stick around for my son's life and hopefully you know, some children in the future. If you start taking cholesterol medication, remember on a daily basis to take your coenzyme Q10 supplements to make sure that you replenish those levels in your body. The first step to managing your cholesterol is to know your numbers, so get tested and take charge of your heart health. Trust Vital for your family's health.